Well, hello, my fellow car modelers. How are you doing today? Well, I tell you, it has been a over a week since I've been back from Atlanta. And uh, what a week it was, getting all the videos all out, getting recuperated, getting back to work, and all that other fun stuff. Then we had the model meeting the following weekend. We are all the way to Tuesday, November the 16th, which is many, many days since I've been back from Atlanta. And guess what? I have not unpacked my models yet. So I was going to unpack them this morning, and I thought, what the heck? Why don't I do it with you guys, and let's see how they made it through the trip. Because, uh, you know, I have kind of a funny way of packing my models, which put some people into shock at the show. And, uh, well, you know, I've been doing it for years, and it's worked out. So let's see if it worked out. This is actually the first time, Atlanta was the first time I ever used a case like this, which uh, I'm going to be changing some things about this case that I learned, and uh, actually going on an airplane. I've never taken airplanes, uh, airplanes. I've never taken models on an airplane before. So uh, it worked out getting there. Let's see if it worked out getting back. So first of all, I had my belt here that uh, <laughs> my latches I just didn't trust. I don't know if you can see that. This one's kind of messed up a little and it did pop open. Thank goodness that I did do this and I just took my belt, wrapped it around there and it, it kept this secure. Now I got this from a previous builder and they had the idea of taking this handle which was on this side so it carried like a briefcase and put it here so your models stay flat. Um, if you pack your models good enough, I don't worry about them being sideways. This thing ended up being sideways a million times anyways. I'm taking this handle. I'm going to put it back to here because it was a nightmare walking through, especially TSA with this thing flat. It was just so awkward and, and all the walking and running you have to do through the airport. Nah, don't like it. But this case fits beautifully in front of the seat, you know, in front of me, in under the seat in front of me. So let's get this opened. And uh, I had also all my other stuff. This magazine, uh, I'll show some other time. This was to display with a model I ended up not doing. There's a lot of the stuff that was given to me. And I just I just pile t-shirts. I don't use the foam. I thought I had foam in this, but I didn't have the foam. I just wrap things in t-shirts and pile old t-shirts. I have some foam spacers here. So let's get to the models. I'm going to... Kind of interesting to see how, how we did. This is all in front of y'all. <laughs> here we go. So I have one, two, three, four, five models in here. And I'll start with this one. Because this was the last one to pack, so it's the easiest to pull out. And I kind of just burrito roll these things in here. So uh, we have my first one which is probably one of my most delicate, my Willie's Gasser. And I don't see any chunks flying around. It doesn't feel loose or nothing. And it's in good shape, people. It made it pretty cool. Everything's there. No part, even these little, nothing busted off. That's awesome. Great. We'll set that one off to the side over here. That's awesome news. That's really good, because like I said, that's probably the most delicate one out of all of them. Uh, let's see what we got here. This one here. I actually, and we'll get to that. Oh, I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but I think I had some damage that I still could show the vehicle, but um, I had some damage in transit back to Atlanta. We'll show you here in a little bit. If I can get this one out. Oh, boy. In good shape, the hood's off. That's all that is. This one is in good shape. Everything's all, nothing. Here's the hood. Everything looks nice. It's in perfectly good shape. That's two. Let's get 
that out of the way. And of course, you know, this is one of my stands. I have a, a cool little dusting job here, you know, to dust off my models when I get to the show. So I always carry stuff with me. Uh, a few, There's a few rags that I bring with me, like a microfiber towel and this little thing, you know, to wipe things off. Let's, let's take a look at this one next. Ooh. And I also... I've done this. There's all my, I always keep them with in this box, is all my little hood stilts. So let's go ahead and unwrap this one. I don't remember which one it would be, so we will see. And it is, how cool is that? In nice condition. Nothing, nothing's loose. Nothing's broken. Let's get that hood off. Engine looks good. All, everything is in good shape. Okay, so that worked out. Okay, put that one off to the side. Toss the shirt. This one here. Heck, I don't even remember what models I brought. Let's let's uh let me get it around the back of the camera there. Let's open this one up. Oh, this one. Okay. This one here suffered damage to the show. Let's get the hood off. And no loose parts. It's all in good condition. But when I got to the show, my rear end was broke loose from, from the uh, spring. That's easy to fix. That was the only problem. But it, it sat on the table pretty good. So I, I wasn't going to repair it there. Get that one off to the side. And the last one is, not sure. I don't remember what I brought. It's funny. And these sat here right on this table for the past what, 10, 12 days. Oh, yeah, this car. This one here has... That hood usually doesn't come off too easy, so if it falls off, it falls off. Those, head, th those were... Those were always kind of loose anyways. But nothing. Nothing's broke loose. It's all solid. Everything's there. So they all made it. Every single one made it. Now, I want to show you something. Which, I was doing this in front of Tim Brown. And he was like, whoa. So this is how I pack them. I lay out. And this I've been doing this for 30 years. Going to shows. And, uh. Wow. <laughs> but I have faith in my models of how I get them put together and how I wrap models. And I just put it right in the middle. I kind of fold it over and I do a burrito. Yep, I roll my model. I roll it. I do a burrito roll and they're packed. That's how I do it. And they made it. with my One had minor damage, which that was probably after it's packed and probably getting pushed down because I filled this whole cavity up with with extra extra um t-shirts that i just keep they're old t-shirts i just always stay leave in here these stay in here stored because i only use these going to shows and uh that was probably the only damage i had was on that 57 chevy right here uh all five made it that's how i've been wrapping models and hauling them i used to haul them in in, in just this wood box i had until i got this case but again, this was the first time I ever went on an airplane trip. And uh, that's it. That's all I got to show you today. I just thought I'd share this with you while I unboxed my models that are all in really good shape. I am pleased, especially this one right here. If any of them were going to break, I expected this one. I just think I just broke it because I just hit it too hard pointing at it. That's really it, man. I think uh, I think we did well. That buddy right there, and uh, I just got to repair this this uh, axle right there. It just broke loose from the from the spring, which that is it's probably always going to do that because that's not the first time that's happened to this model. But this is the last show for all these models, probably more than likely, maybe this one will probably go to Virginia because it has. Yeah, there's a reason why. But uh, I, these are all really old models. I haven't really completed anything worthy of taking to shows. 
over the past few years. I haven't been going to shows for a long time, but these all have done their rounds in the Southwest. So I took them first time they were all in Atlanta. And when I go to the MDA show in Virginia, I'll probably definitely take this one. I don't know. Maybe this one. I don't know yet. But that, that 57 Chevy, it's officially retired. That was the last show it's going to. And I got a little secret to tell you guys about this. And this, this car was a really important one. And I did a video on it right there. Um, I never finished it. I never found the right battery for it. But it's done its show, show circuit. I'm kind of done with it. It's starting to show its age. It's got chips on it. You know, it is what it is. I love that model. and It does does the job on my shelf. So, there you go. That's all there is to it. So, uh, for the ending of this show, I'm just going to say one thing. I haven't said it in a while because we've heard the other thing. I'm just going to go, keep building model cars. Why? Because they're fun. <laughs> right. We'll see you in the next video. Here's the producers.